on guys welcome back to the world of juice channel and welcome to arc survival evolved that is right as you can tell from the title of the video and from the thumbnail we are going to be doing some arc survival evolved in today's episode and we're only going to be doing it because i want to <laughs> i know it's not part of the algorithm the youtube algorithm to upload arc on a channel that does mainly sports and NFL content. But I wanted to do some ARC and I wanted to, to play it. And I thought, why not play it on camera for you guys? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing some ARC Survival Evolve. I don't know what kind of map we're going to be playing on. I haven't decided that yet. I know the new Genesis Part 2 came out recently. Maybe we'll do that. I haven't played Genesis 1, so... I maybe we don't do that I don't know but we're gonna be playing some arc today so I hope you guys are excited make sure to smash that like button and notification bell and the subscription button as well join the juice club and let's play some arc all right here we are and now if you guys do not know what arc is it is basically just a survival game where there's a bunch of different dinosaurs and there's a bunch of different things that can kill you it's it's a survival game that is pretty rage inducing so Let's go straight into it. I'm sure all you guys know what ARC is at this point. Um, I have a file on the center on that map because I wanted to play by myself and I wanted to ref I've played ARC before, but I wanted to refresh myself and kind of get back into the swing of things before I brought it to YouTube. So I have this is my kind of my practice play a solo playthrough on the center. But we could also go to Ragnarok. We could go to uh, Vaguero. We could go to the Crystal Isles, which came out recently. I don't know how much, uh, how old it's been, but there's also the original island. Uh, we could do that as kind of an OG thing. We've got Genesis Part 1, we got Genesis Part 2, Scorched Earth, Aberration, and Extinction as our story parts of Ark. Now, if we wanted to do the story mode, we could do the island and start from the beginning and then do all these other ones. Uh, I think it was the island, and then it was Scorched Earth, and then Aberration, then Extinction, then Genesis Part 1, and then Genesis Part 2. I think is how it goes. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I don't really want to do that. I think we should do some custom maps or custom arcs. So I already have one in the center, so I don't want to do that one. But we could do Valguero, which is explore new heights and hidden depths, whether it's creating your foundations in white cliffs or unearthing the secrets of the Aberration Trench. Valguero offers a new experience in the Ark universe with new biomes, challenging dungeon bosses, and mysterious ruins to discover. There's always something ex exciting and dangerous on Valguero. Oh, great, dangerous. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Uh, let's check out Crystal Isles. It says, a community classic art map returns. Now updated for the official server networks, Crystal Isles is 150 square kilometers, uh, or kilometers, however you want to say it, kilometers of awe-inspiring biomes, build, base, uh, build bases, high in forest canopies, and floating islands, and tame your own... Trope Tropeognathus. Tropeognathus. Ark's new uh, pterosaur to ride into aerial combat. Now, there's going to be a, a point in this, ep or in this probably in this episode, to be honest with you, where I pronounce a dinosaur's name wrong. I am sorry. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so those are our things. We also got Ragnarok. Journey through an expansive 144 square kilometer fantasy highland. Uh where common and all new biomes are combined to bring the ultimate survivor experience, whether tackling the extreme cold atop the highest mountains, harvesting resources from an active volcano, or just searching the, for the perfect base location, Ragnarok plays host to explorers and base builders alike. But survivors beware, Ragnarok ho houses such creatures as, creatures as polar bears, ice wyverns, and a mystical creature many have yet to tame in the Ark universe. Whoa, that one sounds pretty intriguing just for the fact that there's a mystical creature that is in uh, in Ragnarok. I have no idea what it is, to be honest with you. I have not heard anything or seen anything on it, so maybe we do Ragnarok? That kind of sound, that sounds kind of intriguing. I also like Valguero. That looks pretty interesting, too. Um, I don't know. Is it going to be... I don't want it to be so, like, dingy. Is it going to be dingy like that? I'd rather not have that. <laughs> but we got Valguero. I don't, I don't really know if I want to do Crystal Isles. Maybe we do Valguero. There's hidden depths. There's uh, white cliffs, apparently. You know what? Let's do. 
Let's let's go to Valguero. Yeah, let's go to Valguero. We've got challenging dungeon bosses. We got mysterious ruins to discover. Okay, yeah, there's there's the secrets of the aberration trench that we can do. So we can we can look at that. So we are gonna do a single player on uh, Valguero. Let's start it right up and get into it. All right, here we are at the creation center of our character. I think I'm gonna go a little bit, little bit lighter on the skin. Nothing wrong with being a little bit darker, but I think I'm gonna go right around this area. Give myself a little bit of a tan. Hair color is fine, I guess. Eye color is fine. Should we go with a little midget guy? I feel like we should go with a, a little bit of a midget, <laughs> or a little, a little person, I should say. We should go with a little person. Let's let's uh, let's shorten our stature a little bit here. <laughs> Oh, we got tiny little legs. Yes. Yes, boys. This is this is the goal. We go short and skinny. Look at that. We're just a little person right now. Yes. Or should we go short and stout? We could go short and stout like uh like this. Look at that. Actually, you gotta bring the torso down and gotta bring the torso depth in or out, I guess. We could do that. We could do something like that. We could be pretty pre uh, disproportioned. <laughs> uh, I think we should go with somebody like this. The torso depth doesn't need to be crazy. Get everything even here. Here we go. We'll be a short little guy, though. Bring it up here a little bit. There we go. All right, I like that. I like that. Well, just, just a short little guy. Ain't nothing too massive about him. He's little, but we have uh, we have spawn re uh, regions to go to. So we have small islands. We have beach zone one, beach zone two, beach zone three. The uh, Boreal Forest Zones for 1, 2, and 3. We have the Chalk Hill Zones, 1, 2, and 3. Jungle Zone, 1, 2, 3. Redwood Zone, 1, 2, 3. Tundra Zone. I definitely want to, don't want to go to the Tundra or the Snow Zone. Um, let's go to the islands. What's wrong with the small islands? Let's just go there. We'll start out right there. Let's change our name to uh, Juicy Boy. Can I not do capitals in this game? I guess I can't do capitals. That's all right. If I can spell my own name right. Uh, juicy boy. Let's let's be juicy boy. All right, so juicy boy's here. He's ready to go. Create new survivor. Let's get into this. All right. I have not played Valguero, so I have no idea what's gonna go on. All right. Okay, it looks pretty good. There we are. Oh, oh, I got something in my arm. Okay. Ooh, look at this place. This place looks not too bad at all. This would be crazy in VR. <laughs> all right. Starting out a nice little area. Take a look at Juicy Boy here. All right. Let's start by picking up some stone here while we have it. And now, if you guys don't know, you can forage for uh, berries and stuff in these bushes. That'll, that'll be your food source for a while until you get some food. It also gives you fiber. Oh, we already leveled up. Look at that. All right, so let's take a look. We're probably going to need to get our... Probably our stamina up a little bit. That's what I would assume, right? Let's get uh, a small hatchet, the spear. Get those two things. Do we have anything? Uh, what do we need? We need stone and... Th so I need to punch a tree. Can you, can you not be so loud <laughs> uh, can I just pick this up I might have to punch this here we go oh we got sap from it okay so we do have to punch things before we get an axe or anything uh, we should probably stay by the water too just so we don't get thirsty or anything so we don't have enough wood to or we don't know to thatch okay we need thatch all right so let's punch another tree hopefully get some thatch yeah, punch trees. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't go out and punch a tree. It's not going to produce the same stuff that it does in this game. <laughs> it's not going to do it, I promise you. I've done it before. Alright, so let's get a pick. 
There we go. And then we can use the pick to get our uh, our axe. That's what we need to do. So we'll go there. We'll do this. Get some flint and some more stone. We already have enough stone from the from the beach, but we need to get some flint. There we go. That's a, Can you not be so loud, you brontosaurus? All right, so now we got enough for the axe. We might as well get the torch as well. What do we need for the spear? We need some more wood for the spear, so that's why we got the axe. I don't know what this stuff is, though. I don't know why I have it. It's an aberrant helmet skin. I, can I use it? Can I put it on my head? No. I don't know why I have it. I don't know what it is. So we're going to put that in number two. We're going to put that in zero. All right, so we also have an, another level up. Let's go with stamina. We gotta have that stamina. So let's get a campfire and probably a water skin. That would probably be smart to get. All right, so let's pull out the the good old boy right here. Let's sprint over. Are you serious, Bronto? You're really just gonna be stomping the whole episode, aren't you? All right, so let's chop this down really quickly. We'll chop this down as well. Get some more thatch. And the tools have different purposes. So a hatchet obviously gets you more wood on a tree than a pickaxe does. Um, holy crap, I got a lot of... This tree is huge. Uh, but, a, but a pickaxe on a tree gives you more uh, thatch than it does wood. So there's, there's different uses for different weapons. Uh, let's put the thing in three. And then let's go with health for another upgrade point. We should probably go for a thatch foundation and for a sleeping bag. Yeah, let's get a sleeping bag and thatch walls. That'd probably be smart to get too. All right, so we are encumbered. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I can make a thatch foundation already. Uh, what's holding me up? The wood is probably holding me up the most, right? Yeah, it is. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't. I don't want it. Uh, let me just drop this stone, because we can get stone anytime. Uh, let me drop the... Let me eat some berries real quick. Get the berries out the way. There we go. Can I move now? I can move. I can't run, but I can move. Alright. I guess I'm going to have to drop some of this wood. I can get wood anytime, really. Let's drop the wood. Alright, there we go. Now we're free. Now we're free. Let's go a little bit exploring here. We don't really, uh, haven't really seen anything yet. So let's just pick some more berries here. Just so we have them. Get some fiber as well. Gotta have them berries. This bro We gotta get away from this Bronto. This Bronto is driving me crazy right now. Alright, perfect. Alright, get out of here, Bronto. Who, who are you? You're going crazy. Alright, let's go a little bit inland, I guess. We are on an island, so <laughs> let's just run around here. See what what's this up here? What is this? It's a big structure, stone structure. Cool. Is there like hidden stuff here? Uh, no. It doesn't look like it. What happens if I break into it? I can't break into it. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So there's just a random, broken down, abandoned stone structure there. There looks like a big lake right here. This is beautiful. This, this is really beautiful right here. Pick up some more stone. We don't really need the stone, but... Alright, get some more berries. Okay, let's, let's go exploring. Ooh, look at that up there, that stone structure. Or the, the, the way the stones are, like, positioned. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to swim in the water and just see if there's any, like, fish or anything in there. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, here we go. Are they friendly or are they not friendly? I am friend, not food. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Is he coming? Okay, he's not coming. I think that's a megalodon right there. Some sort of vicious, ravenous shark. Not friendly to us. Not friendly to Juicy Boy. He, he's not He's not friendly at all. So let's get some more of this stuff. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. Get some more berries, some more fiber. 
and let's get uh, let's get looking for somewhere to to post up, somewhere to post up for the night, cause it's gonna get pretty dark pretty soon. Are we gonna be able to make it through here? I kind of want to start swimming to another part of the the world. What is that? Is that is that gonna kill me? Is this just leaves? No, it's just leaves. I thought it was like some sort of squid or something from far away. I don't know what that was. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything vicious or man-eating in this area, which is always good. There's another Bronto over there. I don't really want to go towards that Bronto, because he's evil. Well, not evil, but he's very loud. Is there anything cool down here? I don't even know. As long as we, uh... As long as we stay by the water, we will never drown, or not drown, we'll never dehydrate. That's good. Oh, is that some sort of dolphin down there? I don't know what that is. We're already too far gone to go uh, turn back, so I think I'm going to go this way. Because down there, it looks pretty scary. So let's go this way. There's ice and snow that way. Not We're not ready for that. We'll freeze to death if we do that. Uh, we're tired at this point. That's not good. We're tired and swimming in the water. That is not a good combination. Can we get our stamina back up? Or are we just gonna drown? We're just gonna we're just gonna drown. Is that what we're doing here? Insufficient stamina to jump. That is not the point. I need I don't need to jump. I need to breathe. Breathe! There we go. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Alright, let's get out of the water or let's get uh onto this log or something so we can get out of the- I know I have insufficient stamina. I'm trying to breathe! I should not have been swimming. I should not have been swimming. We are not ready to swim. Go. Go. Breathe. Are we even making progress to this thing? I think we are. Oh, I don't have any stamina. I don't have any air. Get air. Get air. Get air. Okay, good. Whew. There we go. Let the air go back up. Come on, we gotta be getting close to this rock. I just need to get on this rock just to breathe a little bit. Just to get some air, or just to get some, uh... So I'm not so tired. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We can't afford to drown in the first episode. That's not what we're trying to do here. <laughs> we're not trying to die in the first episode. Alright, we're almost to the rock. Where we can just get a little bit of our stamina back. So we can finish off our journey. I didn't realize it was gonna be this taxing. But I probably should have figured that. Oh, almost there. Almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Another level up. Alright, we're on it. Perfect. Let's get our stamina back up. What else do we need to work on? We probably need to work on our weight and our health, but let's work on our stamina again. So now we can get storage boxes. We can get a ceiling thatched door frame. We probably should work on some of the clothes, right? We should probably get some cloth pants and cloth shirts just so we have some sort of warmth. Alright, are we back to full stamina? We are back to full stamina, but we are running low on food. We're gonna need to kill some uh, some meat eaters or some, some dinosaurs so we can get some meat. Alright, I think we're ready to go for another swim to get over to this island here. I don't think I don't see any predators, any man eaters over here, just some some friendly neighborhood herbivores. So that's good. We should be able to make it here before we uh before we run out of stamina again. Yeah, yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. We're not that heavy right now. There we are. We are on land. Perfect. Probably need to forge some more bushes here. Just give me some more bushes. Give me some more berries to chew on. We definitely need to kill some dinos so that we can get some meat. Because we are hungry and berries are not going to survive. We're not going to survive on berries for much longer. That is for sure. So let me take a look at the inventory. Take a look at crafting. We can get the pants and we can get the shirt right now. So that's what we should do. And then we will wear the pants and we will wear the shirt when we get it. There it is. There we go. Now we got the shirt on. Perfect. All right. We're level five right now, so that's not too bad. Okay. 
So, do we not learn campfire yet? I don't think we learned a campfire yet. That's my bad. So we wouldn't even be able to cook the meat if we got it. Alright, excuse me, sir. You guys are going crazy. We're cold right now. Well, it's a good thing I got a torch. Warm me up with the torch. Alright, these guys are super loud right now, so let's not go over here. Let's put this torch away. Let's go up here. Can we, like, Skyrim glitch our way up here? Okay, good. Alright, yeah. Perfect. Exactly what I want to do. Let's eat some more berries. Alright. Let's, uh, search for some more berries so that we don't go hungry. Can I jump over here? I can. And I'm assuming I can run up this. If I ran up the rest of the mountain, why can't I run up this? Come on, Skyrim glitch. Skyrim glitch your way up there. No, don't fall back down. Okay, maybe I can't run up that. Alright, so we, we know that we can't run up this anymore. That's alright. We don't need to run up that. We can just keep foraging for fiber. We're going to have so much fiber. That's good. Oh, okay. That's a that's a cliff face. We need to get up here somehow. somehow. Oh, there we go. Then we found the right way to get up there. All right, perfect. Now we're up. Now we're cooking with gas, boys. We need to find a good place to to put down uh, a foundation so we can have some place to come back to. That's definitely the the goal here. But we need to find a place with water. And I know we just ran away from a place with water, but we don't want to start on the beach. Nobody wants to start on the beach. That's boring. You gotta go inland. Where's the adventure? Oh, okay. There's a nice little lake down here, it looks like. Or maybe this is just the continuation of the water of the ocean that we were just at. Make sure there's no predators down here. Let's go down this cliff face very carefully. <sighs> Sheesh. Very carefully, I say, as we jump down. Okay, that is not the way to go. That is not the way to go either. Oh. Uh, Will this hurt me? Will this hurt me? Ah! I'm sorry. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Should not have done that. There's probably a better way to get down here. But we're down here now, so. Okay. What was that? Oh, that hurt too? Ah! Uh, okay. We spawn somewhere new. Run it back. That scared the life out of me. I heard something, but I didn't know where it was. Alright. So we start brand new. On the beach now. Let's go punch a tree. All right, this looks more promising, though. Let's punch this tree. Is it not going to give me any wood? Okay, a little bit of wood. That don't have to work. Yeah, give me the wood. Yeah, I want all the wood. No, you're giving me thatch. Whatever. We have enough wood, I think. Give me some stones. Thank you very much. All right. So let's craft. Get this out the way. Craft that. That was not intended. We were not supposed to die there. Uh, Alright, so we got number one ready to go. Let's break the rest of this tree. Get some flint. There we go. That should be enough to make our axe. It is. And we have enough to make the torch. We just need more wood and fiber for the spear. Alright, perfect. So let's go in this direction. There's a dodo here that we can get some meat from. There's also a Dilo there. I'm going to need the spear before I fight the Dilo. So let's get some fiber real quick. I'm not trying to die to a to a Dilo right away. Right. Give me some wood. All right, that should be enough to get the spear. It is perfect. Now we can fight the Dilo if we have to. 
which we probably will. Ooh, level up. Uh, let's work on health, because that uh, is definitely what we need to work on. Uh, okay, so we can work on probably a storage box, and maybe some, some thatched door frame. Let's go with that, sure. Alright, so now we got the spear. Let's go see if we can kill some, some dodos. And what was that? Oh, it's poo. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find some dodos to kill. There's a dodo. But I don't want to, definitely don't want to fight. Oh, somebody killed the Dilo. Alright, that's, that's cool. Let me get some meat off of it. I'll take free meat. And let's kill this, di this the dodo. Don't watch, kids. Oh, I dragged the body. No, drop the body. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean, no, drop the body. Thank you. Let's get some meat off of him. Perfect. There's another dodo here. This has got a birthday hat on it, so I think he... I don't know why he's got a birthday hat, but he does. Alright, he's dead. He's a party dodo. He gives me three cake slices. Alright, what do I do with cake slices? I don't know. But, now we've got meat. We don't have a campfire, though. Can I build a campfire? Uh, we need stone for a campfire. Alright, so we just go like this. And then go like this. On the beach, I should say. Pick up stone real quickly. There's another dodo here that'll give me cake slices. I don't know why they give me cake slices, but they do. Alright, pick up this stone. Perfect. Like so. That should be enough to get the campfire. It is. Perfect. Now that that is made, we can... Might as well just kill this dodo just for, just for the lols. Don't you give me that look. <laughs> he looked like he wanted to, to peck me or something. Alright, give me cake slices. Perfect. Let's go up here and explore a bit. We know there's water down here we can easily access. Uh, I probably should jump in it, to be honest with you. So that uh, we don't have to worry about it later. Uh, I need food, though. I need to cook these... I need to cook these... Uh, this meat. Alright, perfect. We got the water. Our water is all good now. Let's go up here get this out because we're probably going to need some wood for the fire oops didn't mean to do that there we go get this break this as well that should be good yeah that's enough wood for the oh we're starving yet yeah, we need to get that campfire started uh i don't have any more berries in my inventory uh i got these berries that should have to hold all right, so let's put the campfire in four. Put the campfire down there. Access inventory. Put some wood in there. Put some meat in there. Light the fire. Perfect. We should have food in a couple of seconds. Eat some berries. Might as well go foraging for some more berries while we wait. All right, we're doing a little bit better. I should have spawned on the beaches to start with, but I wanted to get creative and go on <laughs> go on the islands. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. We weren't ready for the islands. But we are ready now. We are, we are ready now. We've got some decent stuff. We got meat now, actually. Is it ready? I don't know how long it takes. Access inventory. Oh, we got one piece ready. Perfect. Let me put the berries in nine. Then. All right. So let's eat that. Get our hunger up a bit. Continue to forage for more berries and fiber. You can never have too much berries and fiber, that's for sure. Berries will come in handy for you. Don't knock the berries. They will save your life. Just not mine at that point. We're only after small game at this at this moment in time. We, we are only after dodos. <laughs> because they die in like three hits from a spear and aren't really much of a threat. We're not ready to take on anything else because we're not prepared enough. But we can get some more of this cooked meat. And shove it down our pie hole. Perfect. It is getting dark, and I'm kind of scared that we aren't ready for the night. I need more hide for a sleeping bag, but I can get my clothes back. And I can get a water skin, which I don't know if we should get or not. Should we get a water skin? I don't know. All right, put the clothes back on. Perfect. All right, we are going to need... Uh, Good. We are going to need some more wood for, or more thatch for our foundation. 
first I'm hot and then I'm cold now. <laughs> oh, another upgrade. That's big. Now we can get a door. All right, let's get a ton of thatch. Yes, give me a ton of thatch there. That was huge. All right, we got another upgrade that we can do. Let's do that now. Let's go with our... Let's go with our water. Let's get our water up. All right, so let's get a thatch door. We definitely need that. And we need a thatch ceiling, maybe? Do we go with a thatch ceiling? Or are we No, let's go with boots. Let's get boots and a thatch ceiling. Perfect. All right. How much of this have we got? Three more. That's perfect. We'll take the meat. We'll take the fire. Put out the fire. You can leave the charcoal in there. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. We are pretty full up, though, on uh, on our weight. We're carrying a lot of heavy stuff, I guess. That's all right. We are almost ready to go. I should probably, you know what, I should probably dump, jump in the water one more time before we head out into the finding a base. Because I didn't make a water skin. I still can, but I have not made one yet. I need to rest. Should probably get my spear out, just in case we come across some some evil people that don't want to see us survive. We might honestly have to stay on the beach for the night. Just so we stay by the the water. All right, there we go. We got our food up. I kind of want to be up there, though. That's where I want to be. Let's put this away. Let's see if I can get up there. It is getting pretty dark. If we get up there, then we'll have a good outlook of the rest of the land. Or at least of this beach area. And we'll have easy access to the water. If we need to run down and get some. Alright, so let's move up here. The nighttime is not friendly. I realize it's going to get pretty dark pretty quickly like it just did. And it's probably going to be hard for you guys to see. It's going to be hard for me to see as well. So just bear with me here until we get a campfire going. Alright, this is kind of where I want to be. This is, this is where I want to be. So let's see if I can build another campfire. I need more stone. Luckily, I'm right by some rocks. I just pooped again. <laughs> All right, give me some stone, not flint. I need stone. I realize I'm encumbered. I realize I'm encumbered. Are you going to give me stone? Can I please... There we go. Just give me a little bit of stone. Perfect. All right, let's make a campfire. Let's make some shoes. Let's make a thatch foundation. Okay, where's the campfire at? Put the shoes on. Oh, the campfire's in my spot. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's put the thatch foundation down. Five. Yes, I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry. It's about to be a little bit easier. Uh, let's put it here. Sure, I don't even know where it's at, to be honest with you. Uh, and then put the campfire... on the thatch foundation. Open it up. Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. Did I pick it up? Okay, I didn't pick it up. Uh, oh, did I pick it up? Did I demolish my campfire? What just happened to it? Oh, it's here. I just wasn't looking at it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Access inventory. Put the wood in there. Put the meat in there. What is running at me? What was that? That was terrifying. That got my heart rate pumping. <laughs> that was terrifying. Something's right here. Is that me? I think that's me. I don't know. But something is right around me. I know that. Alright, so I can't make any more thatch foundation because I need more wood. I just used all my wood. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go out and get some more wood. So let's just go right here. I know it's hard to see. All right, 
Alright, knock that tree down. Come back here. Give me a thatch foundation. That's a ceiling god. Dang it. Alright, make four thatch foundations. Or three thatch foundations. Put it there. Can I not put it right here? Put it there. Uh, do I not have another one coming? Did I run out? Oh, I made a ceiling. That's right. Uh, and then another thatch foundation right there. Perfect. And can we snap it? Can I not snap it into place here? Why won't it? Why won't it let me snap it into place right here? I feel like that would be simple. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We gotta level up. That's cool. What are we gonna level up though? Should we level up our health? Maybe our water again, or maybe our weight? Let's level up our weight. That'd be good. So we got standing. Ooh, simple bed right away. Got to get a simple bed so we have a place to spawn, so we don't lose our spawn. And what does that need? The simple bed needs. Hide and fiber. Okay, so we're going to have to kill some more things to get some more hide. Um, I have a, Didn't I get a chest? I got a chest, didn't I? I did get a chest, but I need fiber and wood. Okay, I ran out of all my... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Alright, we're back. Just had a little bit of a malfunction there for a second. Okay, so I need to get some fiber and some wood... So we just need to go searching for some fiber around here. This game does get pretty dark. I think there's some fiber up here that we can grab. Yeah, here we go. Snag all this fiber. That's perfect. We'll get some berries in the process too. Let's have a piece of steak. And then let's chop down this tree as well. Get a ton of wood here. We shouldn't go up. Actually, we are going up. Okay. So, I'm not trying to get, like, super heavy on my weight right now. Alright, we need more hide for that. Okay, perfect, perfect. But we can get a storage box where I can put all my goodies. Let's put that in six. Open six up, and then just go, like, right there. It should be good, I think, right? Uh... Let me pick it up. Hold on. Let me replace it down. Right there should be good. Yeah, that, that should be good. Okay. So let's access this. Let's put away all this garbage that I don't know what it is even. Make sure this stuff goes in the chest. I know it doesn't have a lot of room, but I don't really want this stuff on me. It's not really taking down my weight at all because I don't think it weighs anything. But, as long as it's not on me, uh, let's put the cake in there. The cake weighs six, uh, six points, so we don't need the ceiling right now. Uh, what else weighs a lot? The wood I know weighs a lot. Let's put the flint in here as well. Is that evil? Is that evil? What was that? Okay. Whew. That scared me for a second. Uh, we should have meat, though. We do. Perfect. We got some more meat. Looks like the sun is coming up, right? Uh, let's put this out for a second. I don't want to waste all my stuff. Alright, let's, uh, let's break this rock. Oh, we got metal from it. Okay, I got some flint. Let's break this rock as well. Can I place my floor down now? Is that a is that a thing? We're getting a ton of flint. Not a lot of stone. A little bit of metal. Oh, we're gonna be good on flint for a while. We are gonna be good on flint for a while. Let's break this. Let's actually use the, uh, the axe this time. Because our stone pickaxe is about to break too, so. And we're also coming up on being encumbered. 
which is not that great. Okay, let's access this. Is that a T-Rex? Oh, that scared me for a second. I thought that was a T-Rex. <laughs> I can't put the metal in there. You know what? Just give me... I don't care about this stuff. Just... What is this even? Animated series costume. Whatever. I, <laughs> I don't know why I have a costume. Uh, let's take... Let's take uh, this out and put the stone in there. Alright. I'm just going to drop these two things. I'm going to drop them down here. Drop you. Drop you. They should slide down there. Fine. That's fine. Perfect. Alright, so we, we've about probably survived night one. I don't want to speak too quickly because we technically haven't survived. But we are ready to go. Can I place this down now? Why won't it let me put it right here? I don't understand what this is. Is it because this isn't level? Is that what it is? It won't let me spot it right here. And I'm not sure why. Uh, you know what? Let's just make a funky house then. We'll go like right here then. Sure. We'll have a, we'll have a funky house. The bed will probably go right there, then, if we get enough hide for it. Need another piece of steak. We need two pieces of steak, just so we can get some big health. Alright, luckily it's not super hard to get up here, too. We can just Skyrim glitch our way up to the top. In my, uh, in my practice world, we, uh... I, sp I put my house on, like, this huge rock face... It's like a rock bridge, almost, and it's really difficult to get up to. I had to build a ladder up there, so. <laughs> and I've died many times up there, so it's not the safest. So I think this should be a little bit safer. Plus, we've got easy access to the water just right down there. And there's not a lot of baddies down there to kill us, which is the main good thing. we got a lot of berries to work with. I think this is good progress. We might have to go down there right now, because we are running low on water. And because we need a little bit more hide for that bed. I don't want to end this episode without having a little bit of hide for the bed. We should probably have some some a bed down so we can spawn, obviously, so we can spawn again in this location. So we're going to have to kill something. Hopefully there's more dodos down here or something. Or maybe a dilo that wants to come and kill us or something. Something that we need. Yes, I know we're cold. We need water anyway, so we might as well come down here. There we go, perfect. Get our water filled up. There we go, easy. We should probably, if we're gonna attack something, we should probably attack something that's not gonna attack us. And that's gonna be pretty easy to kill, right? Do we have enough to make another spear? All right, we have enough to make another spear, just in case our one breaks. Uh, let's kill this thing, right? Wait, what is this? Is this thing dead? Are you dead? Are you alive? Let's find out, boys. Oh, it spoiled me. Oh, I don't want spoiled me. But, I mean, we're getting hide from it, so... And we're getting keratin from it. How much spoiled meat am I going to get? Whoa. We got enough hide, though, I think, for the bed. But a lot of spoiled meat as well. Uh, what are you? You're a parasaur. You're not going to attack us, so let's stab you. Come back here. Come back here. Aw, oh, you really gonna run away like that, my guy? Man, is this Parasaur gonna run away too? Oh, he's over there now. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, I thought he fell down like some sort of hole or something. Alright, there we got this Parasaur. Let's stab this one. We can get three stabs on him before they run away. Oh, this boy's fast. This boy's fast. It's a beach megalodon, it looks like. Stab you. Come here. You are gonna die. I need your hide. Is that after me? What was that noise? Was that after me? I don't know. Come here. Just die already. 
Oh, what is this little thing? This little thing's after me now. Get away! <laughs> I don't know what those things were. Little compies, it looks like, they said. I don't know, is it gonna give me anything? Seven meat. Where'd the other one die at? The other one died around here somewhere. Let me get the torch out for a second so I can see it. Where's your body at? You died around here somewhere. There are you. Wait, are you in here? Where did he die? Is that Parasaur still running around? I've given up on you, Parasaur. You just wouldn't die. Oh, that sounds like more compies. Is that right? Is there more compies around? I don't know. I don't want to take the risk. Let's, uh... Spoiled me. Organic polymer. Aw. That's just not good. We're getting a ton of spoiled meat, though. Which is good for narcotics. Aw, oh, both of it, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Do I have enough to make both of them right now? I can repair them. Uh, repair. Repair. Okay. So we have enough to make the bed. We do have enough to make the bed. That's good. Uh, I need to get my upgrade, though. Let's work on our... Weight. Let's put more on our weight. Uh, let's do... Boomerang. That could be cool. Let's do the standing torch. That could be useful. So, we'll do the standing torch. Uh, now I've got this, so we can keep getting spoiled meat. Alright, let's get back up to our base. We've done enough on the beach. But we've got a ton of hide now from killing those little compies and killing the and scavenging from those dead animals. Uh, we do have oh, there's a dodo, but he's got a hat on, so he's just gonna give us birthday cake. Not worth it. Oh, I am tired though. So we got some good progress in this first episode. We're gonna forget that I died at the beginning. That never happened. Uh, ooh, I should not leave before I fill up my water, or at least uh, jump in the water for a second. Eat another bit of steak, and take a plunge into the water. There we go. Perfect. All right, we are ready to head back up. I just pooped again. That's all fine. Let's head back up to safety, if I can find a way back up. I need it to be a little bit more light outside. There we go. Found my way up. I went the wrong way. All right, so we're getting a little bit of spoiled berries. That's fine. We don't need to. We don't need to worry about berries because we have a lot of meat right now. We do have a lot of spoiled meat, though. We have almost 200 spoiled meats, but we have a lot of keratin, which is cool. We got a lot of hide. Uh, we got a lot of this uh, organic polymer, whatever that is, whatever it does. I don't know what it does, but we got it. Oh come on! Don't let don't me do this again. Okay, hold on one second. All right, we're back. I keep putting my mouse up in the top, and it like freezes my game. So that's what happens when I when I cut away for a second. All right, let's Skyrim glitch our way back up to the top of here, so that we can. I might probably have to put another chest down in the base, so that we can have more room. And here's the base. It's just currently a campfire and a chest at this point, but. We should have a bed at the end of this at the end of this episode, but first, let's get uh, another this thing, another chest. So we need thatch and wood. Easily can get that, and I did it again. All right, I need to be more careful with that. We're back. So we need to get thatch and wood. So let's just go break down this tree right here. Should give us enough wood that we need. 
I'm encumbered, but that shouldn't be a problem when I make the bed, right? I need more thatch. I need a little bit more thatch. Can I make it to this tree? I'm already pretty low on water. That's not a good thing. Maybe I should have made that uh, hide. There we go. That's enough thatch. All right, let's make the simple bed. Let's make the water skin while we're here so I don't forget about it. And let's make some boots. Make some little shoes. Oh, we already have shoes, don't we? Oh, whoops, I just wasted some hide then. Did not mean to waste hide, but that's all right. Uh, let's put the water skin in four. Another level up? I love level ups. Let's work on our... Our health. Let's get our health up. So, what do we have? We have 16 points. So we can get a slingshot. We can get a lot of good stuff here. Mortar and pestle is probably what we need to get. Let's get a mortar and pestle learned. Now we have 10. Uh, let's work on... Cooking pot? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We should probably work on a slingshot. Get a slingshot. Uh, we can't get, we don't even want to worry about that yet narcotics have six and we have four so let's wait So we can work on that later. I can't believe I made boots again. I wasted boots. That's fine. I Am gonna have to get more water before we or before uh, I leave the game All right, so let's put the bed down So that we know we have a spawn location. It is in seven So let's put the bed right here and center it perfect now we have a spawn location and then let's put the other crate right next to its its buddy right about there perfect and then let's put the spoiled meat in this let's put the polymer in here the organic polymer from that beached animal Put that in there, put the boots in there, put the keratin in there, some more flint put in there, the hide we can have in there, the fiber, these berries, uh, we need to put the meat in the fire, access the inventory, put the meat in the fire, take this out, and put that in here as well, and bada boom, look at that. We are ready to end the episode. I'm going to quickly go down and get more water before we do that. So that I don't drown or don't uh, pass out from dehydration. This has been a very successful first episode. I feel like we've done a lot of stuff, a lot of important stuff that we need to do. We're just going to forget that I, I died in the beginning. That never happened. What is that? Oh, it's my other campfire. I know I'm dehydrated. I'm right here at the water. Calm down. There we go. Beautiful. Let's uh, take a few bites of steak before we leave. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We are ready to go. Eat some berries real quick because we got a ton of berries. Uh, might as well get some stamina back as well. Oh man, I didn't fill up my water skin. That's the whole reason I went down there. Well, not the whole reason, but one of the reasons I went down there. Let's go back down, get more water, and fill up the water skin. Okay. Alright, it's at 100. It does leak though, which water skins are kind of useless. <laughs> they don't last very long, but it, it's okay. We can make it work. It's a beautiful day here, though. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. I think we can make it up here before we run out of energy. If we squeeze our way through here. And jump up here. Get past that guy. And bada bing. Oh, that's not... Are you friendly? You're not friendly, are you? I don't think you are. I'm going to have to put up some walls. Definitely going to have to put up some walls. I don't think this guy's friendly. And he's got a hard head. I just hope that he leaves. 
Yeah, just go that way. Do we have enough? What do we need for walls? Thatch walls. We need fiber. I have fiber. Just go away, please. <laughs> I have... I thought I had wood in there. I think I had some the other one. There's my fiber. My wood is in the fire, it looks like. Yeah, let's just take... Uh, let's take all of it. And then we'll split. And put it back in there. Why can't I put it back in here? What is happening? Why can't I put it in here? There we go. That's what I wanted to do the whole time. You're telling me I did it again? You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Alright, we're back. I gotta be more careful with that. I'm just swinging the mouse around and it's annoying me. Alright, so let's put the spoiled meat in there. We can build some thatch walls now. We need one, two, three. Can I make more than... Oh, I'm out of thatch. I need more thatch. Which is in one of these chests, right? No, I'm out of thatch. Okay. But I can put two walls up. Put it in five. Alright, so let's put the wall right there. And right there. Probably should have put it surrounding my bed, but that's alright. He's coming back. Is he gonna... He's not gonna hurt me, is he? I don't think he's aggressive. Although I say that, he's gonna kill me now. He doesn't seem to be bothering me, so maybe he's not aggressive unless I attack him. I honestly don't know. Alright, we got a lot of thatch. Let's finish it off with some wood. Alright, perfect. So, how many more walls can we make now? Ooh, we can make four walls. We might be able to secure the whole place. That's perfect. So let's put walls around my bed. There we go. Perfect. We'll secure this spot right here. The door's probably going to go right there where the, the fire is. Okay, make some more. I think I need two more, and then I need a door frame as well. And a door. But I think I'm out of that. Or am I out of fiber? I might be out of fiber. Yeah, after I make this door. Oh no, I have enough. Let's make the door then. Alright, so put this there, and put it there, and then put the door frame in five. Put the door frame there, and then put the door right in the center. Like so, and we got a fully supported house. Well, at least on one level. I might have to go another level up. Hey, but hey, this is a good start. This is a good start. We got a place to spawn, and we've got a fire that I need to check the meat on. It's all done, so we'll put out the fire. Don't waste any more wood. Alright, and I will put this stuff in the storage box so that I don't lose it. Beautiful. Alright, that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. There's going to be plenty more ARC on the channel. If you guys want to see it, make sure to smash a like on it. Hit that subscribe button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!